Now then my friends, if you're a regular to the channel then you will know that I have this, a Porsche Taycan all-electric car and I think it's a stupid idea. In fact I think all electric cars are a stupid idea. I think we must have been hit by some kind of stupidity transmat beam by aliens from outer space because to think that these things work we must be off of our rockers and I must be too because I am going to be driving from Mansfield here in Nottinghamshire uh, over to Hollyhead in Anglesey. Now from there I'm also going to drive down to James May's pub in Swallowcliffe near Salisbury uh, and then I'm going to drive over to Lowestoft which is the I think the furtherly most east point in the UK so I'm going to be driving in total I've made a note here of around about 850 miles give or take to prove that these things are stupid, completely stupid. Now I've done um, Scotland to uh, to England, I've done John O'Groves to Land's End and I've proved it's a daft idea. However, we still have the EV community, the clan who think it's for the greater good. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. There we go, uh, and it is the future. However, it isn't, in my opinion, I say. In, everybody has their own opinion, and I'd like you to have your opinion uh, and your ideas in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. But I mean, first of all, if you actually think that it's good for the environment, well, it really isn't, is it? Because if you think about it, this thing's full of batteries. What are you going to do with the batteries when they're gone? Because everybody's got a mobile phone these days. I'm pretty sure that you will have a mobile phone. Noisy car engine there. Um, <laughs> we, you will probably have a mobile phone. What happens with that mobile phone after two years? Well, you take it in, you get it replaced, don't you? You take it to Apple or other manufacturers are available and they'll put a new battery in it for you around about £100. Think how many batteries are in this car. I mean, how much is it going to cost to replace the batteries in this car? I have a, um, my girlfriend has a, a diesel car that's nearly 15, 18 year old and it's still going. This thing in 18 years will be in a landfill somewhere. So I don't personally think that it's that great for the environment. But okay, it is better in towns and cities because it's not giving out the emissions, which is great, but we're just moving that somewhere else because the power's got to be generated to fill the batteries etc and also we've got a mine for whatever's in the batteries all the components etc so I don't think personally that it is better for the environment I'm going to prove all this as well along the way on this journey and I want you guys to join me as well now also I watched a program as well Channel 4 Dispatchers I'll put it in the description down below they actually did a test on uh, hybrid cars and they came out worse for emissions. There's often a simplification when people look at emissions that electric is good or electrified is good, diesel is bad. And what it shows is that in cold starts, the VOCs for those electrified vehicles was often much higher than the diesels. Now I don't know all the ins and outs of that and I can't verify any of it, however I will pop the link to that in the description down below and you can take a look at that for yourself. But basically they're also saying that you have to charge the batteries. Wait for this, this is how stupid it is. Uh, manufacturers say charge the batteries uh, between 20 and 80% to extend the life, but don't let them drop below 50%. Uh, well, I mean, how, how, how completely stupid is that? And we're going to get to cost because Every electric car owner was all smug at first, thinking that, oh, you know, it's saving them money. Well, nowadays, not so much, because the price of electric is going up and it's getting on a par with a petrol car anyway. So you can't even go down that route anymore. Infrastructure. Well, we're going to prove the infrastructure, because I've done that before when I did John O'Groats to Land's End. The infrastructure in the UK is diabolical. It doesn't work. You turn up, there's somebody on the charging point, you're having to wait. You're wasting half your life. It's ridiculous. I've got some figures here, again, that I got from dispatchers. I can't verify this, by the way, uh, but there's something like 20... <clears throat> excuse me, 26,000 charging points in the UK. Uh, currently 7,000 of those charging points, um, uh, 7,000 charging points a year are being built. There needs to be roughly though 35,000 a year to be built to hit the target for 2030 for enough charging points for us all. So we'll go through that again. Think about this. 7,000 charging points a year are being built but there needs to be 35,000 a year to hit the target by 2030. So
so it's absolutely ridiculous range as well okay now it's getting colder now when we did John O'Groats to Land's End it was warmer batteries don't like cold weather uh, you don't get as much uh, uh, range out of the batteries so it's going to be interesting we're going to literally have a drive around I'm going to take you guys with us I'm babbling on a bit but I am letting you know what we're going to be doing we're going to be looking at all the different charging points the infrastructure the range I'm getting and basically to show you that these cars do not work I just I can't get my head around it I I'd lease this car thank goodness because if I bought it literally what are you gonna do with it at the end of it it's crazy I've said before don't buy an electric car but people keep doing it and I just don't understand the logic behind it all it doesn't work and that's what I'm going to prove to you in this video if you're new to the channel by the way please do hit the subscribe button it's gonna be a, a great journey along the way now I know I have a lot of food people on here that watch me for food we're gonna be doing a few fish and chips along the way be rude not to wouldn't it um, it's free to subscribe it's a great little family and we're gonna have a little fun along the way it's light-hearted entertainment but at the same time to show you that these electric cars we're they're not gonna work by 2030 we're expected to drive around in an all-electric future it's not this it's just not the future it's madness in my opinion but we're gonna find that out and we're gonna have a little uh, a little fun along the way so without further ado my friends let's go Right, I've only been two minutes and uh, it's half past seven in the morning and there's tra traffic jam already. Anyway, uh, that's good because it gives us a chance to chat. So I'm 99% uh, fully charged. We're heading to Bangor first because uh, you know that song, don't you? Didn't we have a lovely time the day we went to Bangor? We had sausage and chips and full English too. And then we stopped off to go to the... No, ignore that. That's just bad sorry i know you've probably turned off by now uh, anyway back to being serious uh 99 of charge range of 244 miles now in summer that would have gone up to probably 270 280 i can't remember maybe you could go back and have a look at the other videos that we did where we went to um john O'Groats to land's end and see what i was get getting then um i'll let this lady out there we go uh there we go um <laughs> It's basically 177 miles to Bangor. Um, what I do like to do is charge along the way if I can, if there are any charge points. Never let the battery get too low because if you do, again, it's not good for it. Don't charge it past 80% of course as well because that's not good for it. Or you know all the rules and, uh, and stuff. So uh, 177 miles to go, three hours, 32 minutes probably be a little bit longer than that because I do need a coffee and I've got my breakfast biscuits in the back as well so I'm not buying cakes and stuff like that save money because it all mounts up when you go into Costas or Starbucks when you're charging up and it's it all adds to the cost of an electric car so um you know there we go so it's going to be uh, interesting it's going to be an interesting journey uh, it's going to be a stressful journey if if uh, johnny grows to land's end is anything to go by but it will prove hopefully that electric cars are a stupid idea an all electric future is a stupid idea there we go come on onwards
You know, it's interesting when I read through all the comments. Uh, by the way, we're on the M1. Uh, still another uh, two hours and 58 minutes to go. Another 159 miles and I'm at 223 mile range. I'm doing okay, 92% less left of battery. It, it, it's interesting uh, that the comments that I actually get in the comment section of these videos these EV videos because I've said before you've got all your I'm not going into all this on this one but you have got the EV clan that stick together that are real it's a little bit like Apple I'm a huge Apple fan an Apple fanboy and you've got that you know clan of people that that like their Apple devices however I have used Android devices you know I'm a little bit more open-minded um, but I like Apple however it's the same with EVs, you know, they 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 won't have a bad word said against EVs, but the difference is, you know, Apple's a phone and a computer, and it's a, for me, it's just a machine, to be honest, and it does the job, and that's what I'm used to. But an electric car, it makes zero sense whatsoever, and it is literally, I think, a stupid idea trying to use batteries as a way to get around i don't think you know I, and don't get me wrong because i'll i've got had comments going well you you've got children you should think of the environment i am thinking of the environment this is not the answer um but you've also got the people who are tesla you got the wrong car yes you yeah you see you you got the wrong car you should have got a tesla i didn't want a tesla and yes the infrastructure is in a different league on a tesla we know because you've got you know they've got they've got it right however it's also if anybody out there is a firefighter um answer me this question are these cars safe because i've read on the internet on tinternet that there's fires and that the firemen fi firefighters sorry cannot put them out now i don't know because you know you you read all what you read on the internet is nine times out of ten a load of twaddle isn't it but so if you are a firefighter let me know in the comment section down below if one of these catches fire i've i'm told that you can't put them out you have to leave them is there any truth in that i'm not saying there is I'm asking if you are a firefighter, can you let me know? And only if you're a firefighter, can you let me know in the comment section down below? Because we've seen mobile phones explode on people's pillows that have been dangerous. So that's another factor. And I know you're going to say, whoa, you, gasoline, petrol catches fire. It does, but you can put it out. So it's just, what a stupid idea. What a stupid idea that these cars are. Anyway, come on, onwards. I need a cut. I still haven't had a coffee yet. to say uh, I'm a little bit more apprehensive about this trip to Wales than I was to Scotland in an electric car because your EV infrastructure in Wales uh, it leaves a little less to be desired let's just say uh, in the rural areas Scotland to be fair is pretty good um, and it had its own charging network um, but Wales just I've looked on the map and it seems yeah, it's a little spotty, let's say that. Uh, well, I've got you here as well, I have to say. I can't help but think that this 2030 agenda to get everything EV, no internal combustion engines, is a way of pricing out people, uh, the general public, the normal working person from driving because if you look at the price of these cars they're ridiculous they're outrageously priced my daughter's just bought not long ago a little peugeot one liter car i think it's a 106 or whatever fantastic little car gets her around cost her about three grand and it's a great little car you can't do that 
with a with an EV. These things are outrageously priced. It's like they're pricing out the normal person. I, I may be wrong, controversial, I may be wrong. But tell me what you think in the comment section down below. This 2030 agenda to get everything electric seems to have a little bit more to it. Who knows? Now also, I've said that these cars are all about control, where they can control your car over, over the airwaves, over the internet, and they can activate things, deactivate things like Porsche did here, and they deactivated my well, comfort entry that I did a video on. They can turn your heated seats on and off if you don't pay a subscription, etc. But also, these things, you can't service yourself. So it's taken away that control. Years ago, my dad used to uh, go and get a Haynes manual. You remember those books? Anybody who's my age will have fond memories of those books. Haynes manual and uh, fantastic little books. And my dad had gone fix stuff. He'd go in, there'd be something wrong. He'd fix them, he'd open the bonnet, fix it, job done. Nip down to fit a part or whatever um, in Mansfield, get the part he wants, pop it in, on your way. You know eight quid later happy days the car's back on the road again these things they're all sealed they're all batteries it's literally just sealed you can't do anything with it same as what apple do with their computers i'm called the mac master because i used to be i am great with apple macs and i used to be able to service them open them up change the hard drives put new memory in them if there was something wrong you know put a new part in it you can't now because they're sealed units you can't do anything with it they've got total control you end up having to buy a new one or sending it off and getting them to fix it and it's the same with these cars yet again it's disposable you can't do anything with it you can't there are, there are no engines it's all motors and batteries and you're stuffed basically if anything goes wrong with it you're at the hands of the manufacturer it's all about control my friends there you go and by the way i have said to you before please do subscribe to the channel uh, hit the subscribe button it is down there it is free it does help me out these don't cost you a penny to watch and uh, if you believe in what i'm saying and you think i'm right share it on social media get it across and let's stop people buying into this ev stupidity stoke-on-trent my mum didn't like stoke-on-trent we came to the flower festival years ago anyway that's a different subject I think my mum's telling me something because we've gone from bright sunshine and blue sky to uh, dense fog. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I never understand Stoke-on-Trent, by the way. If you're from here, just answer me this question. Every, I've never understood the answer that anyone gives me. I've gone, where's like Nottingham city centre, Leeds city centre? Where's Stoke-on-Trent's city centre? There we go, it's Hanley or whatever it is. I'm going, but that's not Stoke, surely it's Stoke. And people keep saying, no, it's Hanley or whatever. Yeah, but where's the centre of Stoke? Where's Stoke city centre? Where it, it doesn't make any sense to me, Stoke-on-Trent. Uh, you, you can tell me in the comment section down below, a little bit of light hearted relief from this EV madness. Gosh. Fog is still there. By the way, uh, I took the wrong turning. 
I ended up having to go down a junction and then back up again. So uh, that's uh, took a few uh, two, a few volts. I'm thinking, no, I had to go 10 miles down and 10 miles back. Anyway, I've got 60, bit of an update. I've got 60, I'm on the right road now, 63%, 154 miles uh, of range left. Um, I've got 110 miles uh, to get to Bangor, 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 where I'm actually going to charge up uh, and hopefully, hopefully, um, meet Dave, who's been on the channel, hashtag JB. Right, well, I've just had to pull off uh, for a minute because uh, oh, I've gone the wrong way here. Hopefully I can go around there. Hang on a minute. Uh, I'm going to try and just pop a little bit of electricity in here while I nip in for a coffee. I've only literally got about 15, 20 minutes though, because I've got to go and meet Dave. Um, grid serve, here we go. Hopefully these work. So I can have 10 minutes, have a coffee, uh, and I want to get to Bangor and meet Dave. So. You see, if it was petrol now, I would have literally have filled the tank up and I'd be done. But I'm not. I've got a lit... It's now, what, 10.07? I'm down to 54%, 132 miles. Obviously, don't let it go too low. So I'm going to give it 10, 15 minutes of charge and then hop back in the car and charge when we get to Bangor. So come on, let's turn this car off. Let's go and charge it up. Right, verifying, let's stick this in. Right, I, could have, I should have got a bit further forward. Hang on. Cable's so heavy on these things, now it's gonna scra scratch the car, I think. Here we go, get that in. Come on, the blooming flat won't go down. Here we go. You have to rest it against the paintwork here. Right, I've connected it okay. Start. Now I've got to tap my thing again. Obviously, I've done it the wrong way around. Tap it. It says I'm not authorised to charge. Hold that. Verifying. Why am I not authorised to charge? I'm literally using contactless payments here. It says connect OK, start. Right, let's try again, one second. Start. Contactless. Not working, you see? <laughs> and I'm not doing this for the camera. Ridiculous. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I unplugged it, uh, plugged it back in again. That didn't work. Tried it again, put the thing back in again, plugged it in again, then tapped it, and now it started working. It took about five minutes to sort that. 54% charging. I'm going to go in and get a coffee, leave it 10 minutes, and then get back on the road again because I've got to go meet Dave. This is the thing, you see, I could have filled up and been on my way. Come on. Right, okay, well, bonus, got my free Costa off my uh, app, 
I thought, I don't know whether it's more expensive at a service station, so I used, I'll used i use the free coffee. Uh, looks like I'm at 62%, so uh, I'm going to give it another five minutes, have one of my oat cakes in the back of the uh, car there, and then uh, we'll hit the road. So uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Just going to have a little uh, five minute to rest. Right, okay, so I'm at about 71% now, so I'm going to stop charging in a minute. Um, I had a, an email off of uh, Andrew Wyatt in Florida, and he says it's actually interesting because he sees the same thing over there with the infrastructure uh, over in the States, um, and they've got a hurricane coming at the time of writing this, uh, and it says here, uh, usually they show people lining up for hours at the gas pumps, now we're trying to figure out how these EV owners are going to get charge uh, when all the power is knocked, uh, knocked out. Uh, it sh they showed a map of Florida and the few charging stations um, uh, along the route or route if you're over in the States. Right now for these EV drivers in Florida that live in the path of Ian, it's a possibility some of them could become stranded as most emergency plans and evacuation routes do not offer or take into consideration charging stations. Uh, a route I often take is Route 60 um, and it says here, it says uh, they can put astro astronauts on the moon, controversial, um, but can't get an infrastructure in place. Well, that is interesting, you see. If you've got an emergency and you need to charge up like that, like a hurricane, and you need to get out, you just put your petrol or your gas in and you're off. With electric, what are you going to do? Just hang fire there a minute, hurricane. Don't just, well, I just charge for an hour. Doesn't work, does it? Anyway, I'm going to unplug this now. 72% by the looks of it. Let's get on the road. I know we're supposed to do it to 80, but got to go and meet Dave, so at least it's put a little bit in. Come on. Right, so we're back on the road again. 73% uh, of battery charge, 183 miles of range. Uh, we've got another 83 miles to go. It has made me feel a little bit more easy just topping it up. And I know you're going to get the EV clan out there. You should have charged it up to 80%. Well, I can't because I need to get to go and see Dave before he moves on to the next place. Well, you should have planned your route better. Should have pl I planned my route. You know, you should have charged up before you left. I did charge up before I leave, left. You know, so I've done everything I can. Anyway, let's get there uh, and get over to Wales. But as you can see already, it was a bit, it wasn't very simple, was it? Because now, if I'd have had a petrol car, I'd have been, I'd have had a full tank and I wouldn't have uh, had to wait around. I'd have been further ahead of the game. I'd have been another 10 miles up the road. So, just saying. Right, so we're in Wales. Now, don't hate me, people from Wales, but I do want to say, I've got, it's like I have the urge to say, we've just got to Wales. Well, there's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> don't hate me. It was probably a terrible, terrible uh, accent anyway, but oh, yeah, we're in Wales. Very nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at all the hills in the distance very nice now I do hear by the way I have heard that North Wales and South Wales it's a little bit like Derby and Nottingham is there any truth in that do you guys not like each other North and South Wales or is that just a myth anyway come on let's get to see whether we can get to Dave um, 63% uh, a battery, 155 miles of range uh, and another 55 miles to go to get to Bangor where then I'm going to put some more charge in and I'll have a little bit more time um, and we'll, we'll have a quick chat with Dave as well. I know regular viewers to the channel uh, will like to see Dave. Hopefully I'll get there in time because he's got to move onward and I was ending up wasting time charging up. So come on. I 
I tell you what, my sat nav is going to have a job pronouncing off these names. I can't pronounce them. Mold your wig rug. Mold your wig rug. Mold. Mold your wig. Can, how do you pronounce that? So what, I, I had a job pronouncing this, the names in Scotland. Mold your wig rug. Wig rug. I, so, pff, sorry, people of Wales, I can't pronounce that. I'm told you're going to do it, mate. Mold your wig rug. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, Ways and Ways is going to have a job. Come on. A55. We'll go for that one. I'm glad he chose. He probably chose that one because he couldn't pronounce the other one. Mold you with rug. Come on. Anyway, let's get out of here. Onwards. Sheep, 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 hey, a little bit like EV owners, the EV clan, sheep, controversial. <laughs> Right, well, I'm trying to find Dave, and he did say he's around here somewhere. I'm hoping as well, ah, Costa, that there is some charging points, but we will find out. Well, there's a Costa here, inside and next. Can't see any charging points, though. There's gotta be some charging points in here, hasn't there? There's cameras on here as well, so I'm guessing there's a time limit. Right, let's go and find Dave. Right, so uh, I found a charge point, Osprey, but there's somebody in it. So, um, yeah, don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have to find out how long this guy's going to be and then uh, hop in his place. So uh, this is the issue, you see. Again, I'm now waiting for somebody, somebody else who's charging. It's crazy. Right, so I've just asked the gentleman there. He said he's got 18% to go, so it might be worth me waiting to hop in his space. However, there is a time limit on this uh, car park as well you've only got two hours now I wanted to go for a drink with Dave but I'm gonna to have to wait around until he's finished or I'm not sure what I'm gonna do it's not quite that easy but he's over here <laughs> fancy seeing him here again I mean I, I bump into him everywhere don't I here he is look hey hey how are you all right yeah. hello up everyone welcome to my world you're looking well do you know what people say that when you either just, look just, ill just, or fat just come here a minute you're the only person I know who knows every road in the United Kingdom. He said, if you go through two tunnels, you'll see a hill in front of you. It'll rain just after you get past that hill. Then you turn right, take the second left. There'll be the, there'll be, there'll be the ocean on your right or the sea on your right. You go through another tunnel and out the other end and then take the left at the roundabout and you'll see me here next to Acosta. 
Now what, then. What can I say? Now then. I'm a good catch. Can I just say? <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> I've been be practicing careful. it. Be careful. I'll be careful. Here, Dave. I thought I saw another electric car over there. There's loads of them. There's loads of them. No, that can't be right. I thought I was the only EV owner in the village. <laughs> no, that's, con that that's controversial. He's off in many ways. Now, wait a minute, because we'll come back to you in a minute, because the gentleman over there, I'm waiting for him to finish. All right. And then off in his space. Right. But we need to go for a coffee. You've got to go onwards. I have. Onwards. Onwards. So now I'm in a bit of a dilemma because I've parked in the other EV space there. I'm waiting for him to move. I think we only get a certain amount of time in this so car park. You want me to fetch you a coffee? It, well, it, it's just. Uh, no, no. What I'm thinking is I don't want to leave. We might have to get a coffee, come back. How long have you got? This is the. Four, see if. Five minutes. You've got 45 minutes? Uh -huh. Oh, we'll be all right. Yeah, so It's an age for me. It's an age for you. That is Anyway, so there you go. Already we've got, we've got problems and issues. It'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it, just to fill up? Now, can I ask a question? Go on. Lorries. You know a little yeah. bit about lorries. Yeah. Electric lorries. What do you think? Oh, I'm not having this argument with you again. No, never. Not in a month of Sundays. Not, well, not as why I'm still in the world. No? no, never happened. Would it ever work? Not, not in a not in a major practical sense. I can't see it, but no doubt somebody will know better in the community. There we go. Anyway, we'll see you guys in a minute. I'll go and see how long this guy's got. Because I because if I don't go in his space and I leave, go and get a coffee, then somebody else could have hopped in in front of me, and then I won't get in, and okay. I need to charge. I'll up. fetch you. Hang on, I'll fetch you. Got me some pain for it. What do you want? Well, hang on a minute. We'll see you in a minute. Right, so we've got a Costa, gentleman's still there charging, so we've been 10 minutes, so now if we'd have got a petrol car, we'd have been on, <laughs> we'd have been all right now, I'd have been filled up, we'd have been sorted, and we'd have been done. You'd be on your second Snickers. I'd be on my second Snickers, what do you reckon to electric cars, Dave? Being a gentleman, um, no, keep them. <laughs> keep them. Unbelievable. I've just said, this video basically is to prove how stupid the idea is mm. of an all electric, all EV future. It'll never work. I don't know what's going on with it all. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And they're not even, they're not even, they can't be taking it seriously because the infrastructure, I mean, I'm waiting here now. This is ridiculous. It's absolutely daft. But you can hear all the EV community. You should have planned your journey. You should. Yeah, only, and you didn't, you didn't charge it right. You should have charged it a little bit more at the last place, and you wouldn't have needed to charge it. That's what I needed to get through. Otherwise, you'd have gone. It. it doesn't. You can plan as much as you want, but it doesn't always work. No. We'll drink this anyway, and we'll just wait a little, a little bit longer in the cold. That's actually the thing as well. It was when I went to when I went to Scotland. It was warm. It was warm weather. Now it's beginning to get to winter. And I'm going to do another trip as well in the middle of winter. And I'm going to, I could, I should, I might even do Scotland again in the middle of winter. And then let's see how that is. See you guys in a minute. Uddling, I'm cold. Ooh. I'm freezing. I tell you what. Have a cutch. This is the reality. It's stupid. I'm now, how long have we waited? About 10 minutes. Yeah. I've been in there for about five, 10 minutes. <clears throat> we're just waiting around for this guy to get out now there are yeah, I know you're gonna say there's two charging points on there however he's in the uh, my, my fast charging point is on the passenger side so I can't reach the other charging point and I think he's the two different fittings anyway so I've got to wait literally for him to move get in that space plug that into the fast charging point size side but he's gonna be maybe another 20 minutes I would have thought it's now raining by the way. It is well, I know, but we can't go in and wait because if he pulls out, somebody else might get in before me. Wow. So we've now got to sit and wait for him to finish before I get in. Right. And then when it's charging, I've still got to wait then, probably another 40 minutes for it to charge, or maybe a bit longer. So be careful, they'll be marrying you off. 
I, I know. So literally, if you work out how much of your life you spent charging your car, and this is the future, I don't think so. It's for the greater good. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. Don't you start. <laughs> Did you? Did I say that? Really? Did it, that come the... out of my, my mouth? <laughs> it's for the greater good. The greater good. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, we'll just hang around. Get under there. It's a bit. It's raining. Does it always rain in Wales? Every time I've been, it does. <laughs> right, Dave's gone to ask him how long it's going to be because he shouted at one minute. Shouted at him. <laughs> it's crackers. We, we all get because I've had it. How long are you going to be? And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? You know, it's absolutely crazy. It's madness, isn't it? Do you think it's the future, Dave? No. There's no, your answer. One word answer. Yeah, it's the stupidity. This is proving the stupidity of an all EV electric car future. There you go. Anyway, we'll wait another five minutes. Another blue sky coming out now anyway. Right, well, I'm back in the car uh, and the guy can't get the uh, charger out of his car now. It's stuck in his car. So uh, I'm not making this up. Actually stuck in his car, he can't get it out. I shouldn't be laughing, that could be me in a bit. Is it stuck? I've charged, but it's... Well, you disconnect it. I've had that before. You just can't get the thing out. I tried to use the app on it, but it wouldn't let me connect, so I had to use an RFID code. Ugh, right. No, it won't let you get it out, blimey. It's the future. <laughs> Electric cars. <laughs> right, we're just waiting now again. I'm back out of the car again. I'm not. This is not made up, by the way. The guy, I'm not. I, can't, I won't show his face for privacy reasons, but it, he, he can't get it out of his car. So this now, it's probably about 40 minutes we've been here now. I'll tell you, because my alarm's going to go off in a minute. 42 minutes. 42 minutes. So you're going to have to go in a minute. Oh, I think he's got it. Oh, he's out now. We're, we're free. So I'm going to get my car in. And then I'll be I'll say, I'll come and say bye to you. Okay, mate. No right, worries. we're good. We're free. We're all, we're all, we're all right. Right, I'm going to get in quick because the gentleman who's just charging there said uh, the other two chargers around here are not working. Uh, there's one in Morrison's Genie Point, I think, not working. Uh, and then there's another one which is not a fast charger, uh, and that's not working either. He said so. You haven't got another one around here that's working for miles. So and, uh, and a, a fast charger. So I need to get in quick. Right, here we go, charging time. Now, I think we've been here about 40 minutes. That guy's just got his car out. Let's get, I'm gonna get charged. Just stay there. Right, I've, I've done the RFID thing. Oh, I've got to sec select my connector now. Connect it to the car. Starting, please wait. Please wait. Still says starting. What's it saying there, Dave? Green's just come on, it's charging. 2.40, I'll be ready for you. Hang on a minute. Say, say again, what time is it now? Um, It'll be ready at what time? 2.40, 12.52. So we're, that's about an hour and... I failed maths. You failed maths, but... It's you can, a level in detention. Can you hear all the EV owners? Well, you should only charge it up to 80%. Okay, then uh, that'll be 220. <laughs> There's a bloke on a bike at the back of there paddling on like hell to charge it. <laughs> this is the reality and the stupidity of an all-electric future. <laughs> I'm going back to me fossil fuel one. <laughs> well, you're a fossil. I am. <laughs> Look like I've been done. Same age as me. That means I am. No, I'm not. I'm older than you. Are you? Yeah, I'm quite a few years older than you. Oh, then there you go, then. <laughs> Five ex-wife. No. Um, yeah, so, no, this don't work. You can keep these. I'm going back to the old way. 
all electric future by 2030. Yes, well, I don't think so. Listen, share this video, right? Like the video, give it a thumbs up because it helps to push it out. And let's just prove to the entire universe and stop this complete and utter bloody madness and tomfoolery. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely, path it's pathetic. I'm not doing this for any other reason. I could get, I've seen it in the comments, he's doing it for views. I could get more views eating a bag of fish and chips. It'd be a lot easier driving to Wales and around the country. I mean, the only reason I bump into you because I'm driving a recovery truck to pick you up. <laughs> I told you not to tell them. <laughs> Right, well, we've had another coffee. I've had an espresso this time. Another, what is it, six quid or something. Yeah. Uh, and we're still waiting. It's 62% uh, charged, 158 miles. The time has come for me to say goodbye. Time's come for Dave to say goodbye. It's 20 past one. You're going to hit the road back, back home. I'm off the land, Doug. No. And, I, and I'm still waiting around here like a prat for this to charge. Because there aren't any other charges well, around here. You said it. But it's the future, isn't it? It's the future. It says everywhere on the TV and the radio and the magazines and EV's the future. The future is green. Now this proves, right, the stupidity of an all EV future. Mm. It's never going to work. Right. It'll never work. James May said, I'm going to his pub actually on the video in a bit. So you don't uh, take me, have you noticed? Yeah, James May said, we all know that batteries are rubbish. <laughs> aren't they? A couple of years, the batteries will be knackered in this. Anyway, I'll just wait around. So, nice to see you, Dave. No worries, my you. friends. To see you. I'll so, see you all again soon. Um, a lot more of me, I think. Uh, I keep meeting you in all the... I, I reckon you're stalking me. How can I stalk you? I've been here two hours before you. Actually, yes. And I'll be, well, I'll be two years... Two, two years. Two I'll, hours, be going I'll, soon. Be, I'll be two hours here, two hours after you. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. But don't go anywhere because I need you to keep me company. We've still got to get to Hollyhead, is it? Hollyhead. Yes. Hollyhead, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, so there's a gentleman waiting uh, over there now. I'm, I'm going to uh, let him charge up because he's just said uh, Morrison's back there. It actually shows on the app that the uh, chargers are working, but they're not. Uh, so there's nothing in the area at all. I've got enough charge to get me to the next place at the moment. So uh, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to unplug, uh, get back in the car and then head to my next destination. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you back in the car because let's get this off of charge. I mean, it's now 1.49. It's crazy. So I'll see you in the car. Right, there we go. All done. I think I've got a quick glimpse of how much it is. £37. Not cheap, I have to say. Um, pretty much on a par now with the uh, you know filling it with petrol so we're going to get in the car let this gentleman pop in and charge you up because as I say there's nothing else around here uh, and I don't want to tick it either for staying in the car park too long so I'll see you back in the car right back in the car on the way to Hollyhead 21 miles we're at 79% um, I've got 198 miles of um, range left um, <sighs> I mean, this is just absolute madness. It's crazy because the guy who just pulled in, he, I did, he did the same as I did earlier on and tapped on my window and said, how much longer are you going to be? Um, and, you know, I've had people say to me before, oh, well, I've been on ZapMap and there's loads of charges around there and it says they're in order. He's been on ZapMap. Three of the charges that are on ZapMap that, that say that they're working are out of order. So the future... It's just stupidity if we think that this is the future, because it ain't.
Right, here we are. Hollyhead, Woolworths sign up there. Blimey, that's a blast from the past. Woolworths. Um, it's showing one charger here, actually. Ah, just there. Wonder if I can get in there. Hang on one second. Can I get in there? Yes, I'm gonna pull in here and I'm gonna see whether I can charge just here. I've gone in the wrong way, but this might be a faster charger and there's nobody in it. So I might be able to get a full charge here. Let's have a look. Right, here we are, electric charging point, E-Volt. I mean, this is all costing a fortune really, isn't it? Um, it's costing nearly as much, if not more, than a petrol car, but um, I've got 174 miles of range, 71%. Uh, um, I'm driving down to James May's pub tomorrow uh, to have fish and chips. I'm gonna stop somewhere here tonight, um, or around this area anyway, somewhere in North Wales, uh, before I head down there, edit this video, then head down there in the morning. Um, I'm gonna have some fish and chips later as well, so gonna hopefully be a video for you of some fish and chips from Wales as well. But anyway, before we get down to that, let's see whether this works and I can get some charge in and then tie this video up. So come on. Come on, I need to get the charge in. Look at this building. Some beautiful buildings in Wales. Right, let's try this charger. Here we go. 50 kilowatts, so it's not gonna be the fastest charge again, but we'll go for it. It's all in, in it's all in Wales, I don't understand it. It's all in Welsh. It's not doing anything. Can you translate this for me? doesn't appear to be working. I, I'm, I'm putting my RFID near it, but doesn't look doesn't look like it's working. See you in a minute. Right, well I've paid and I can't get can't get it off. I don't understand what it's doing. I've, I've paid, just took it off my card, just pressed the wrong one. It was in Wales, Welch. Um but it's not letting me take, oh, there we go, done it. It was locked on. Right, now what? I don't understand what it's, there's no thing for English, I don't think, is there? I don't understand. don't understand. What's it doing? Would it? I can't translate that. Right, I think it's working. Yeah, it's charging. Happy days. Why is there no translation to English? I didn't see any translation to English. I mean, in England, you've got Polish, you've got all the different things, but languages, that's just in Welsh. I don't understand it. I didn't see a thing for English. Anyway, it's charging, so happy days. Right, 
One second, let me put you on the car. Let's go around this way. Let's, let's finish this off because this is no doubt going to charge now. <sighs> but it's going to cost a, an absolute arm and a leg. There we go. So we made it all the way to Hollyhead, uh, but not uh, without uh, issues and problems again. So it does go to show that this is not the future. Um, I don't know who we're trying to fool. It's just stupid, really. Stupidity if we actually think that this is the future. I've met other EV owners across uh, along the way. A couple of EV owners who've said the same thing that, you know, it's it's the charges around there have not been working. They're not really taking it 100% serious, are they? Because it's not just the infrastructure, it's the the battery technology as well. We haven't got the battery technology and we won't have for ages yet. And you see in the comment section, are oh, they working on batteries that are going to charge really quickly? We all know batteries are rubbish. It's, a, it's, it's just not the way forward. And OK, the internal combustion engine is going to have its lifetime and get to the end of its life. But we've got to have a better, a, a much better proposition than, than electric because EV, and all EV future, it's just stupidity. So there we go. Anyway, that's all from me today. Do please share the video on your social media, on your Facebook, on your, your uh, what is it? In, 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 not Instagram, you don't think you can share on that, can you? On your Twitter feeds uh, and on your LinkedIn. Share it out there, get this out there, share it with your friends, give us a thumbs up as well. And if you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. Uh, I haven't finished yet because we are gonna go right over to the East Coast. Um, and see how we do with that. But we're going to do a detour down to James May's hotel uh, and pub. Get some fish and chips down there. I'll be having some fish and chips later as well. So you can uh, watch that one as well coming up. If you want to see what uh, fish and chips are like in Wales. For the people that watch me for food. Um, people that watch me for the EV. Um, keep watching because it's going to be interesting getting across to the East Coast. Anyway, that's all for me today. And I'll see you guys in the next one, I've got a headache now, I've got to go. See you later, bye-bye. Oh, for God's sake, I've got a pay to park in here as well.